Hello everyone, welcome back to another week and welcome back to another studio vlog. As you can see by my face, I'm feeling really rough right now. I'm so, so tired. Basically, if you haven't seen last week's video, I'm moving to a new house and we started the moving this week. And yeah, I'm just so, so tired. Um, the other house that we were living for the past three years, it's still like 20, 25 minutes drive and then parking the car, taking everything upstairs. The house, it's like a three store house, like on the third floor with no elevator. So, and at the same time, we are painting some walls, painting some tiles, um, trying to clean it up because the house was pretty much a mess um, and really dirty. So yeah, it's taking the life out of me. I'm just feeling so, so tired. We actually stayed the night in like a air mattress because we still need to get a uh, new bed and all because the room is really small uh, so we need to get like a smaller bed I didn't wash my hair because now we found out we don't have warm water um, in the bathroom we'll probably have to replace all the plumbing oh my god it has been such a mess and then this morning I was charging my computer and the computer wasn't charging so I went to the Apple store but then I checked and the USBs were working so it was really weird and I went to the Apple store thinking it was like the cable or the charger but the charger was also working so basically the guy turned off and on the computer and then it starts to work again and all of this for the last couple of days so yeah i'm feeling really really tired right now i had a shop update last week and i don't know i talked about this on instagram and it feels a little bit weird to talk about this as well i feel like when you are um, especially when you are an artist who is a lot on social media, on Instagram, on YouTube and stuff and you have this thing on comparing yourself to other people especially when your numbers are growing and for the past year my numbers on YouTube started to grow a little um, on Instagram has been a little bit slower but they also have been growing like um, steady, slow and steady but I feel like when you see other people growing and stuff you expect that when it happens to you that growth also happens and those sales start coming in and all of that and i always felt like this for the past shop updates but this one i felt even felt even harder um because i had this expectation if my numbers were growing my sales will also be growing and i would have like this amazing shop updates that i see other artists and creators I uh, have like with a bunch of orders like in the first hour and yeah, it's kind of hard to deal with those expectations and when things when you have like this idea on your head of how things are going to go and then they end up not being like that. I still had a couple of orders and I'm so so thankful for that and I've been I don't know doing a lot of thinking on the weekend all about this and stuff and i need to remind myself that my goal is to support myself as an artist and i can do that right now and that only is just so so amazing of course we always want growth and i want to grow my business but even things being steady it's so so amazing especially right now with the state of the world and everything that is happening um i know that also has an effect on sales and all of that because I myself also uh, try not to be so much on social media because we get all of this information and it's not easy not to get affected by it. But yeah, I'm just trying to uh, remain positive, trying to also think of the things that I could, um, I could do better in the future because I also know that it wasn't a good idea to do the shop update on the week that I got the house. But yeah, I have said this before, it's okay to be grateful, but at the same time wanting to grow um, and be sad when things don't go as you want them. So yeah, I'm trying to juggle that all in my mind, but I also wanted to mention that, yeah, after a lot of thinking and all of that, I still wanted to mention that over here. I'm so, so grateful for the order that I had. And thank you for the love on the mountain, guys. I had, I sold like three mouse mats with the mountain um, design. So I'm so, so happy for that. And a mug and a few other notepads. So yeah, we are going to pack those orders now. And then I want to to make some new earrings this week so we are going to pack some orders and then we are going to start working on new earring designs 
and then I also want to do some new washi tape designs so hopefully I can do that all on camera but if I can't I'll leave that for next week's video so for now let's pack orders and then start working on earrings let's go just packing orders and I was packing this order for Teresa and she ordered two pin hoops so thank you so much Teresa but I wanted to show you um, a little thing that I changed on the pin hoops so basically I don't know if you check last week's video but I show you how I mount them I basically glue them all around like the fabric thing but I I don't know I was looking at them and they looked unfinished so let me grab you one so they looked like this so i would just glue the fabric um in here on the wood um but i don't know they look kind of weird like that so i had a lot of ribbon that i got for christmas to do like the uh, the tree decorations and stuff so i measured it and the ribbon was exactly the same uh, height as the wood so this is what i did and they look so much better like i still have to perfect it but look at the difference between those two this one looks a lot better and more finished um and i don't know more a lot better looking i guess than this one with just the fabric so basically i basically add them um like this uh, I have several colors so I might even add the option on the website because basically I made these ones to order and I do that for a lot of products like the mugs, the mouse mats so I might as well take full photos of all the ribbon colors that I have and then when you order like pin hoops you can also choose the ribbon color I already packed the order for Adele, she ordered um, a daisy one as well and I, I love, she love, I know she loves yellow so I added like this um, thing instead of white I added yellow um, so I think it will be even more customizable I guess but yeah I wanted to show you before packing them because I think they look so much nicer yay <laughs>
now the next day and I feel a lot more refreshed <laughs> as you can see others are all shipped uh, and taken care of so now let's go and do some fun things and let's create some new earrings so let's go <laughs> So this is what I've done so far. I do kind of a planning, but then I print a bunch of things and then I put them all on the table. I also play around with like the beads and stuff. Um, and I already have these earrings here because I have some like this party animals, some of this um, berry ones and others that I have for sale for a while now and I never sold them. So I think I'm just going to use the pieces and just create new ones uh, from scratch and yeah this is like the little planning for the earrings i planned some new designs for the mushrooms the um, for the mushrooms for the bees the fairies but also like for the sun the flowers and all of that and i'm also planning to do some necklaces i did some like this and also with the stamps um for a shop updates last year already it's from april as you can see over here on my drive um so yeah almost a year ago so i think i'm of making some simple ones like this but also some new designs like this because i know a lot of people um can't use earrings or don't like to use them so i've been asked to do some necklaces and i think i would like to do some more simple ones but also some more complex ones like this and then <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can't make everything on this studio vlog because this will take me a while and I'm actually thinking of maybe doing a shop update just for earrings and accessories and stuff like that uh, because I know they are not for everyone but I got these accessories for the hair like some clips for the hair and I also wanted to try how they look um, these are like those kind of rectangular ones but yeah, this is more planning for necklaces and I know this looks like nothing. And once I print them out, I can lay them off on the table and just start playing around with everything and with the beads um, and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm so excited. I just love making the earrings. They just make me so, so happy. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, I finally mounted everything on the computer. It always takes me forever, but because I don't know if you know this, but printable shrink plastic, it's really expensive. So I basically just try to use as much the, of the sheet that I can. So let me show you what I've been doing. I'm watching the lovely Jisoo and this is what I mounted so far. So I have like two sheets and then I can just duplicate them and print them um, as I need them. But for now, I'm going to print these ones and this is going to take me a while to cut. So let's print and cut them. So then we can start mounting. <laughs> This is the shrink plastic that I use 
I'm going to leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. If you are printing or thinking about printing with shrink plastic, a little tip for you, always print like the images on the same direction. Like if you put one illustration or one image vertically, put them all vertically because the shrink plastic shrinks more in one direction. Um, so if you put one like this and the same one like this, they will shrink differently and they will look different illustrations with different dimensions. So a little tip for you guys. <laughs> And let's cut these. Yay. I know probably some of you will ask on the comments why the hell am I cutting by hand if I have like a silhouette um, and the thing is I already tried to cut shrink plastic on the silhouette with the blade that I have now but it takes forever and no matter how many times that I pass like the blade um, it still it doesn't cut okay because this is really really thick material um, and I know there's a blade that I can get it costs like 30 something euros I think that will cut like thicker materials but the thing is as I said before like shrink plastic it's really really expensive by the sheet like I get one of those packs that I showed you before it has like five A4 sheets and it costs me like I don't know 17, 18 euros maybe. Yeah, it's quite expensive uh, by the sheets. And if I cut them on the silhouette, I'll have to put them inside like the, um, the cutting marks. So I would have to print less on each sheet. So for now, I just do them like this because I don't really sell that much earrings. I just keep doing them because I love doing them so so much this is like it's something about a repetitive process I guess um, I can just sit here and cut them put the resin on them put them in the oven mount them and it's just so so relaxing I think I just love it so so much it's such a nice thing to do and it's definitely one of my favorite process even though it takes so so long but yeah, I love it, so that's why I keep doing them. And hopefully they someday start to sell a little bit better if I keep focusing on them, you know? So I know like not everyone comes to my shop uh, to buy earrings, um, but if you like funky earrings like me and illustrated earrings, you might like them as well. So I want to keep adding them to the shop, as I said before. Uh, but I know it's not everyone cup of tea, so I'm actually thinking about like every time I post earrings and stuff, do a different shop update and not really wait um, to have new things. Like I'm going to order new washi tape soon, but I think I won't be waiting for the washi tape to arrive because also the then the earrings get a little less lost on the shop update. Uh, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a different chocolate plate soon just for accessories like for the earrings, for necklaces and for the hair accessories and all that kind of things. So, and this time I want to come up with a shovel plate with a little more time so I get everything ready, like all of those things. I feel like the shovel plates that I do don't actually go as I expect, even though they go super well don't get me wrong i just i just am always so so happy even if i have like one or two orders on this last shovel plate i think i have like 13 orders which is not a lot but for me that's 
just amazing like certain people wanting to buy from our shop is just so so nice but um, I think what it's lacking right now it's organization for me and a lot of time like preparing the products um, mounting them on the computer and then mounting them like physically and stuff but then I I still have to take product pictures, I still have to edit the photos, I still have to put the listings on my website and I still have to do put them on Etsy and I would like to start to putting them on both um, on both like at the same time on my website and on my Etsy and then I don't give any time left for like marketing and putting the website focused on those, that shop update, uh, planning posts for the shop update day, videos and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to start to, even though I know that I can have everything ready by that day, like the product listings and all of that, I think I'm always going to give it an extra day or two or even three, just so I can you know, focus on that part as well because I feel like that part is what is lacking. Um, on this shop plate, I spent almost any time um, like promoting it on social media. I didn't even make a post. I only make a reel saying that the products were live. And after that, I didn't really post anything else more about it. I really need to save more time for it and that's one of the things that I'll try to do differently on the next shop update to see if it gets better. As I said in the beginning of the video, it's still a lot about trying things out, see what works for me, see what not. Um, and also the next shop update, I'm also going to try again on the weekend just to see the difference, you know. I used to make it on Sunday, I'm going to try to make it on a Saturday. Um, this time I did it on the Thursday just to try it out. I guess the thing is when the shop update day comes I'm already so so tired that I don't really have the headspace to think about those things so I think leaving some extra days just for that um, and maybe like a day to rest all will make me more focused and better so yeah, I I have plans. I think I can improve some things. It's not just about being sad and getting over it. It's also learning from the things and try to come up with a plan and see how you can improve. Um, that's what I try to do at least. Let's see how it goes next time. I'll obviously keep you posted. Um, but yeah, I just want to talk a little bit, a bit about that. Um, and if your sales are lower right now, you're not alone, definitely. And I know how hard it is not to compare yourself to others, but we just need to keep trying new things. Every audience is different, every person is different, and we just need to keep trying and see what works for us, basically. And yeah, let's keep making these earrings. intermission on the earrings to unpack some books <laughs> I shouldn't be really buying any more books um, but I've been reading a lot finally and I'm so happy with it um, I've been wanting to read more for so so long so I'm happy that I'm committed to it and I got to the sale which was like three books for 20 euros so but the last 
apothecary i think that's how it said this one was suggested uh on instagram uh by one of you then i got the midnight library um which i've seen a lot all over tiktok and youtube so i'm curious to read it and right now i'm reading the starless sea um so <laughs> And I'm loving it already. So I bought the night circus. So yeah, can't wait to read all of this. And I'm just loving to read more again and getting into that routine that I had when I was a teenager. So hey, three more books to read. <laughs> Okay, it's now the next day, as you can see, I kept some of the earrings that I had in stock for myself. Um, I already put the earrings in the oven, I already resined them um, and have everything ready to start melting them. And what I did is I took some photos um, of the ones that I arranged on the table before. So this way I know more or less what I want to do with them. But now that they are like real sized, um, and i don't know it's easier to see how they will look like i'm just trying to change things around and see how i like them better so yeah that's basically what i'm doing right now i also dismounted some of the um, earrings that i had in stock that have been in stock for a while um and they look kind of the same so i just dismounted and basically i'm going to try to give them a new life i already took them out of the shop so I'm going to try to mix them around with the new pieces and see what I come up with. Okay, this is what I have so far and try to ignore the table. I put resin basically everywhere. Um, so I have these earrings um, right here. This will be necklaces, so they are put together like this. I have to drill some holes to make like the shapes that I want with my mini drill. Um, and yeah, this is how I want to mount them, these ones. I don't know they got distorted in the oven i think i use was using um like i had to put the temperature a little bit higher um and these weren't supposed to be this big so i think i'm going to mount this but then i'm going to do uh one with like smaller i'm going to print smaller um flowers and mount them and maybe have the two versions so if you want like bigger earrings you can add bigger and if you want smaller you can get smaller earrings um and for some illustrations i'm still not sure how i'm going to mount them maybe i'll have to print some other pieces uh to put them together and stuff so i'm just going to leave them like this for now and then i have these ones over here as well so yeah i'm going to start mounting these ones and then we'll do this ones like next week or something like that
okay this is what i have so far i'll mount this ones tomorrow and then this ones in tomorrow or another day um but this is what i mounted so far i think these ones are my favorites they look so so cool they are all very chunky when i do the shampoo plate i want to make some little studs like print them out uh, a little bit smaller and try to make like smaller earrings um, but these ones are like the ones that I like and love uh, so these ones I did it first like for these ones as I said these look really really big which I love <laughs> I would wear them for sure um, but I will make maybe a smaller version of it so I also tried the little necklace necklace but I'm actually going to take this one out because it's way too big for the necklace and i would like to make it maybe like this side a size this takes a lot of work um but i still wanted to try to see how they look um because i have to put one piece um and these little holes in here uh, for this one i actually uh broke um one of the um, the berries while i was drilling them that's why i try to make the little holes before and try not to drill them uh, because sometimes this happens after all the work of resin them and all of that so i have to do another berry one but i'm really really happy with them i also love this ones um yeah i just love them all i just yeah i'm just so so happy with them um i also love the little like uh, beads and stuff this will be necklaces as well and yeah this is how the process is going so yeah, I'm going to finish the studio vlog here, but before I finish, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, that is Skillshare. So if you haven't heard of Skillshare, where have you been? <laughs> so basically it's an online community where you can learn all kinds of subjects like illustration, design, marketing, all kinds of things. And it's available for like intermediate levels, but also for beginners if you want to start something new. but if you want to deepen your knowledge in some areas, uh, intermediate classes are available as well. I've been really enjoying using them and I actually put them in the like the classes on the background instead sometimes of YouTube videos while I'm doing like repetitive tasks like earrings and stuff like that. I like to put them in the background and at the same time I'm doing other things. I'm learning about something and even though um, I'm not like actually um putting them to use at the moment the information stays in my head and then when i stop to drawing or to do illustration or even if i'm learning about social media later i'll um, use the skills that I've been learning in those classes. The class I want to do next is called Productivity for Artists, which is something that I'm lacking so, so much, especially now with the moving and all that kind of things. I feel like all over the place. So I think I need to like reset and try to understand how I can organize myself and how I can be more productive. Um, because sometimes I feel like the day has passed and I basically did nothing because I wasn't organized and stuff. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, get to this class and learn a little bit more about it. And sometimes learning about how people organize themselves and how they stay productive helps me organize my ideas. And even if I don't do 100% what they are doing, I can incorporate some of those things in my day-to-day -day life. You can take the classes at your own pace uh, because it's divided like into chapters they have several languages for the subtitles and you can also save the classes for later which is super cool sometimes I'm just scrolling and I see a class that will interest me to for the future and I just save it the first 1,000 subscribers that click the link in the description that I'm going to leave in the description will get one month free trial on Skillshare so you can just try the classes and explore it a little bit and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it because 
because there's classes for basically everyone so yeah thank you so much for skillshare for sponsoring this video and thank you so much for you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and that you enjoy see a little bit of the process behind the hearings it's something that i just love so much to do so i hope you enjoy them too uh next week i'm going to finish them out and also do the necklaces and try to do the hair accessories so yeah i'll see you guys next week and yeah i'll speak to you very very soon bye bye